Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! People who do not own a television but use the BBC iPlayer to catch up on shows must pay for a TV licence from today. Until now, only people who watched programmes as they were being broadcast needed to pay the annual fee. Viewers will be asked to confirm that they have a licence, otherwise they risk prosecution and a £1,000 fine. Our media and arts correspondent David Silito is with me. How's it going to be monitored, David? There's an interesting question. The deal at the moment is, up until the 31st of... Uh, until yesterday was that you didn't have to get a license fee if you were on a catch-up service using it only as a catch-up service or downloading programs now that was considered to be a loophole so the legal loophole has come to an end so but if you'd been using the iPlayer as a live service i watching television watching this live for instance um, you would have had to have paid the license fee so the question about it at the moment is how will anyone know whether or not you're watching the iPlayer? Now, there have been all sorts of stories over the summer, for instance, talking about TV detector vans that might be able to sniff your Wi-Fi. Well, there was a statement from the BBC saying, no, they are categorically not going to be parked outside of your house monitoring your Wi-Fi. But they do say, and they issued a statement saying, they have methods, um, just as they have methods of working out whether or not you're watching an ordinary television as to whether or not you are downloading or watching a catch-up service on the iPlayer. It's quite complicated to know exactly how they do that because, um, for instance, IP addresses. Um, an awful lot of people are watching the uh, iPlayer via a sort of Sky service or a BT service, so it's uh, not very clear exactly how that would actually take place and what legally they're actually allowed to do. Um, TV detector vans I have never seen any evidence of exactly how they work or how they operate and it's certainly not come to court as far as I know. I'm sure somebody will say that they've found some evidence in court that has been presented from a TV detector van. I've never heard of it so far. In the so end though, far. when there's sort of suspicions that things are out there that, that are, are monitoring, that, that presumably has an impact the on The most behavior. likely method is if you don't have a licence, they know the households that don't have them, they will receive mm. a letter. Um, and I think that is more likely the prompt that will actually take place. So, it has changed today. Mm -hmm. If you download any BBC TV content or watch it, then you'll have to pay the licence fee. However, if you're only using, say, for instance, the iPlayer radio and not any TV content, you still don't have to pay. And if you're, for instance, downloading third-party material, uh, material, say, Netflix or ITV, um, and doing that on a catch-up service, you won't have to pay. But if you're watching, you can't say, I'm watching television and own, not watching the BBC, because if you watch any TV service on the BBC, uh, any TV service on a television, then you still have to pay. It's complicated, isn't it? It, it is, it is. Let's the essence is, if you've got a television and you watch any BBC TV content, you have to pay from now. Well, if, or if you're watching it through a computer without a television. Yeah, thank you very much, David. Let's talk a bit more about it with Renata Sampson, the chief executive of Big Brother Watch, an organisation that campaigns for the protection of users' personal data. Thank you for joining us. Um, well, the BBC says it won't be monitoring Wi-Fi. What, what, do you, what are your concerns about what you think might happen? My first concern is, is I haven't got a clue exactly what they are going to be doing to be determining who is and isn't watching live iPlayer on a device when they shouldn't be, whether or not they've got a TV licence. I mean, if this came into force today and none of us, me, you, David Silito, none of us know what's going on, really, what are the BBC playing what, at? What could legally be done? I, I, that's the big question. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, currently, the BBC, under uh, existing uh, law, RIPA, the Regulatory uh, Investigation Power, uh, Powers Act, uh, um, currently they are allowed to use some form of surveillance to monitor people who don't pay their TV licence. However, we've got a new surveillance bill coming through. It's being debated right now called the Investigatory Powers Act, and there's no mention of the BBC in there. Now, the intelligence agencies and law enforcement are having to be incredibly 
incredibly open and transparent about what it is that they're actually doing. Uh, now, if the BBC are intending on using very intrusive surveillance powers to monitor all of our activity online, they need to be a whole lot more upfront than they're being right now. If it does boil down in the end to what David was saying there, potentially about just checking out which households have a license and which don't and writing to the households that don't and asking them to explain themselves, is that OK? Uh, of course. I mean, you know, a letter through the door, uh, um, th th you know, it's, if a letter th if, uh, there's nothing particularly intrusive about receiving a letter through the door. But how are they going to know that you're the household that's worthy of the letter? Look, 94% of people pay their TV license. What are we going to do? Snoop on 100% of people, 94% of which are abiding by the law, just to catch the 6% that aren't. I don't think that that's particularly uh, proportionate, do you? <laughs> Thank you very very much, Renata Sampson. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I've been getting away with it all.